y'all, it's your girl Kai and I am back with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new here, what's up? My name is Kai and you are tuned in to my YouTube channel, It Must Be Kai. So I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in. Definitely be sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe before we even get into this video, okay? So we just gonna wait. All right, so now that y'all done that, let's go ahead and hop right into this video all right y'all so today we are going to be doing these heatless curls like look baby heatless we don't we're not finna get up every morning and curl this we're just not doing that okay i'm just gonna show y'all how i get these bombshell curls okay i just came from getting the bag of course and i just had to come show y'all how i get my hair like this because i posted some pictures on instagram this weekend and everybody was going crazy about my curls okay so if you don't know now you about to know this is a unit from the b royal hair collection this is a 26 inch 5x5 closure wig and I absolutely love it. It is the straight hair. It's the mink royal straight, period, okay? Because at first I was gonna do curly, but I was like, no, let me do the straight because I ain't never had straight hair before. But what this is showing you is that this hair, baby, holds a curl, okay? What straight hair y'all know that can hold a curl? Come on, because straight hair sometimes, duh. <laughs> anyway, if not be royal, then who? Who? Okay, so this unit was customized for me. The five by five closure is like right here and right here. And so of course there is plenty of parting space and that's why I just went ahead and parted it on the side for this look. I would definitely part in the middle to do this look as well. But now that y'all know all about this hair and how soft it is, how well it holds a curl, we got the shine, we got the body, we got all of that, okay? So definitely head to the description box and click on that Be Royal link down below. I'm gonna link the Instagram and the website so y'all can go ahead and get y'all bundles and request y'all custom wigs, okay? So now that I have told y'all about this amazing unit that I am wearing, that fits all of my hair underneath it. Let's go ahead and get right into how I get these heatless curls. All right, y'all, so yes, we are using flexi rods. Flexi rods are oldie but goodie. These things have been around since the beginning of hair time. We've all used flexi rods. If you haven't used flexi rods, then what are you doing? I'm here to say you better start using flexi rods, okay? Straight up and down, period, okay? Flexi rods in this thing. This is what we gonna put in our hair. So I do not sleep in my unit. This is a glueless unit, so I can take it on and off every single day, and it only takes six minutes to put on. I'm not gonna say five minutes because I take six minutes to put my wig on. But I use Flexi rods, yes. So, long story short, I put the long story short, I put these on my hair while the my unit is still on my head, and then I take the unit off and put it on my wig stand, okay? Because I just feel like it's easier for me to put these in my head while they on my head. Like it's just easier. So originally, after I washed and blow dried this hair. I did not go along a flat iron with it. I know a lot of girls do a flat iron and curl the flat iron and then put the flexi rods on. All I did was spray the hair down with some water, coat it with some mousse, and then put the flexi rod on. And I did let the wig dry for two days. So that still includes no heat. And I do feel like since I didn't flat iron it, it gave it like a more bodied look. So yeah, I didn't flat iron this at all. It's literally just water and mousse. That was the first time I did it. But every time after that, like every day that I've been coming home, I literally just do what I'm about to do, okay? So what we're about to do is kind of like a little nighttime routine, but not really. So all I'm gonna do is take a piece, comb it out. We'll brush it out. Where's my mirror? Because after I show y'all how I do this a couple of times, then I'm just gonna like speed through it to be frankly honest. So this piece right here, I can't remember if I curl it back or curl it under. I think I was curling this one under. I was curling it under. So all I'm gonna do is take it. Now I'm not a flexi rod professional but I know how to do a little something, something. But all I'm gonna do is just wrap my hair around it. 
And when I say that's why I love this hair because it holds a curl, like I can do this every day when I come in before I take it off. And my hair will be curly the next day. So of course I'm gonna bend it just like that. And there she is, she's on. And I'm just gonna do that with literally every single section. Um, I think I be ending up with, Lord, excuse my grandma. Excuse my grammar. I think at the end, I usually end up with maybe like, I usually end up with like nine in my head. So that's how I usually do it because I like big bombshell curls. And in order to get that look, I don't put a lot of them in. And so this unit is cut into beautiful layers. So it is a little challenging sometimes putting this on, but you don't have to be like a super perfectionist with it because the flexi rods are literally gonna help your hair just fall so beautifully. So I don't even worry about it. I just do the best I can and make sure that I'm grabbing all of my layers. Just like that. And I'm gonna just keep doing that all over my head. And I always leave the top out because y'all know the top gotta lay flat, flat. If the top not laying flat, flat, then what is that? Like, come on, come on, stomach on flat, flat, wig on flat, flat. Y'all know the deal. And I'm just gonna do this with every section. I don't even spray anything on it. I could spray something on it, but I just don't feel the need because I just love how the curls fall. Like the curls gonna do what they supposed to. Like this unit just holds the curls up. Like, where do you get straight hair like this? Come on. So I just wrap it around the bottom like so. And so maybe in like a couple of days, it's usually, so what I do is I pretty much, I wash the wig, but I usually will wash the wig and then after it air dries, I literally, sp or you could do it right while it's wet, but I let it air dry because I want the cap and everything to be dry. And all I do is just go in with a spray bottle and my mousse, okay? And that is it, honey. Like that's, that's all you girl does. Cause that's, that's all I'ma do. And then when I wake up in the morning, I just take it out. So what y'all are seeing is how the curls look after they fall. Of course, they do start off a little tighter, but I was like, I wanna show them what my hair will look like throughout the day and not what it looks like immediately after I take them out. So they do start off a little tight, but then they do fall. And of course, if you wanna add more mousse, you can. So that's that on that, and I'm gonna finish curling my head.
All right, y'all. So your girl is looking like, y'all know how they used to be in the 50s, like in the kitchen? <laughs> That's what I feel like, okay? So your girl has all the flexi rods in, okay? They are all in, nice and secure, okay? So literally all that I do, um, what I can do is if I wanted to, if I feel like, oh, I want some extra hold, I'll just spray some holding spray. I'll go in with water and then hold and spray and just spray it so that it holds. But like I said, this B Royal Mink straight hair holds a curl immaculately. Okay. So I don't even have to do any of that. Literally, I'm about to take this off. I'm about to take this wig off and put it on my mannequin head. And then when I put it on the next morning, the curl's gonna come out the same way every single day, okay? So that done cut down so much time. We didn't have to pull out a flat iron. We didn't have to do any of that stuff. And if you're wondering about the size of my flexi rods, they're not the biggest ones. They like the middle biggest ones. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, so this is it this is how i got those curls that you previously saw so i thank you guys so much for tuning in y'all be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video